All right, folks. Uh, meanwhile, uh, this past week, the Tribeca Film Festival uh, was home to a screening of the new documentary called Outrage. It takes a look at the hypocrisies of uh, closeted gay politicians, particularly Republicans, a topic very close to my heart. Uh, some of you, uh, the two of you who bought FUBAR, know that we dedicated 40 pages to anti-gay, gay Republicans. Uh, and in fact, it was the highlight of our uh, one review in Publishers Weekly that we, we went a little too far with that. Um, uh, but uh, here is a clip from the trailer right here. 90% of the cases or so are Republicans. He is dancing at Flamingo on the weekend and propping up the most right-wing homophobes in America. Same thing I was doing as a teenager, bashing other gay people in order to prove that they're not gay. This is your voting record, and it seems to run absolutely contradictory to the way you've lived your personal life. You know what the right value is? The right value is truthfulness. The right value is honesty. So joining me right now is uh, the director of Outrage, Kirby Dick. He's also the director of This Film Is Not Yet Rated and the Oscar-nominated doc, Twist of Faith. Kirby Dick, welcome to uh, The Break Room. Hey, thanks. So uh, I watched your film. Uh, actually, I watched it this morning. All right. And uh, it's fantastic. I, uh, it, it's a fascinating story of basically uh, of just the massive scourge. And it is a scourge yeah, of anti-gay gay Republicans, um, most of, well, all of whom are in the closet or have been outed. And you get, you get really into the subject of how it's so damaging. T talk about that for a minute. Well, the way it's damaging is, is these uh, closeted politicians will do anything to protect the closet. There are rumors uh, oftentimes swirling around them, and the last thing they want to do is anybody think they're gay. So what do they do? They go out and vote as anti-gay as they possibly can. These are people who might normally vote pro-gay, but because they're closeted, they choose to vote anti-gay, and, and as a result, damage the lives of millions of American citizens, gay and lesbian citizens. Now, it's a, it's a great film. I mean, you go over some of the... Um some of the, uh, the the big names, obviously, in the anti-gay, the ones that we know, right. uh, guys like Larry Craig, uh, and you uh, you have the audio tape from his interview with the cops, yeah. which is always always fun. Yeah, and, it's great. It's great. <laughs> and Ed Schrock, uh, which is one of my favorites. We right. actually Ed Schrock, of course, was the congressman from Virginia, mm -hmm. who uh, was very uh, vocal about the uh, the don't ask, don't tell right. policy. Uh, I think he, he actually said on the congressional floor something about soap and showers. He did, he did. And in fact, he was against don't, act, don't, don't, don't Ask, Don't Tell because it didn't go far enough. He wanted to just have an investigation and drive out every gay and lesbian out of the military. I mean, uh, you know, the Iraq war would have been uh, even worse with that. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, the Ed Schrock thing, we once had uh, David Cross do a live read of Ed Schrock's famous, um, well, I mean, you explain what it was. Go, go ahead. I'm not. Well, it was uh, Ed Schrock's uh, voicemail message. Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, Ed Schrock and uh, <laughs> left a voicemail message. Apparently, uh, not a good thing to do if you're a virulent anti-gay, right. uh, gay Republican who wants to stay in the closet. Don't leave your own voice on uh, gay chat lines. Looking for a guy for some rough play, nothing too N nothing uh, too rough. Nothing just too to, rough. Just, just, to get, so, just have some fun. Yes. <laughs> you get naked. I get naked. We have some fun. There I think it was. Yes. Um, and. It's a great story. It involves actually uh, a lot of bloggers, uh, particularly right. Mike Rogers Mike of Rogers. Blog Active, yep. uh, who is famous for he. Uh, I think he went on the Ed Schultz show and outed um, Larry, uh, Craig. Larry Craig yep. months yep. before. Nine months before we, he we, was we, also, we had learned about it. You know, his escapade in the bathroom. Right. And he uh, he also was the one who brought us Ed Schrock. Yes. And you follow him as he goes around, and you actually um, you you out some people. Not necessarily, I think, for our audience, um, but for I think a broader audience, right. following Mike, uh, Mike, uh, uh, Mike uh, Rogers around, uh, we see. Uh, well, he goes by uh, David Dreyer's David office. David Dreyer, Jim McCreary, Jim a, McCreary. A former uh, congressman from Louisiana, just retired. Now, you know, David Dreyer is an interesting example to me because this guy was, and you really covered the story that the mainstream media has not covered, which is why he did not get. He had the job right. as majority leader. Uh, or, or whip, I think it was. No, he's whip now. Uh, uh, majority leader is second in command um, for about five hours. Exactly. And then they took it away with, uh, from him because he's gay. Exactly. The, 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 the right wing of the Republican Party 
was just outraged about this and uh, just decided, no, they're not going to have a, uh, a, 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 a leader who's gay. So, I mean, uh, you know, this is incredible homophobia, even going after their own people. I mean, that's what's interesting. I mean, I've heard stories that there are actually members of his own party who will not shake his hand. In really? Congress, that I haven't heard. will wow. not shake his hand. Even now? Even now. I heard this <laughs> yeah. story uh, two years ago, I, probably at around this time. Wow. But here's the real question. And and I, and I want you to touch on that Bill Maher sure. segment, too. Yeah, yeah. Why doesn't the media cover that? I mean, this is, I know this, you know this. Right. And I'm you know, the people I heard the story about him not shaking hands, they must know right. this. Oh, Why don't they cover it? Well, I think, uh, you know, there's an, an, ick, an ick factor reporting on uh, anything having to do with gay sexuality. They just, uh, they want to stay away from it. Maybe they figure their readership is, is mostly straight and will, will, somehow will turn it off, turn, be turned off by that. But, you know, that's a form of homophobia. And uh, the gay press for years has been saying, let's report on everything. Let's report on this hypocrisy. Because they know that the, the damage the closet causes. But, you know, the, the, in, in this case, the mainstream media, as in many other cases, has just decided that they're not going to report on it. And that's why I made this film, because, uh, you know, I, I figure maybe they don't report on the, the, that, but they report on the film, and that starts the discussion. <laughs>